Hey everyone, Ben here and welcome to Motivation to Invest. Quantum computing is the next generation of computing and it's set to transform our lives. And recently, Bill Gates and Amazon have invested into a brand new startup company which has gone public via a SPAC merger. So that's why this is particularly interesting to us as investors. So in this video, I'm gonna dive into what exactly is quantum computing very briefly and very simply the potential applications i'm going to dive into this spat company and play you guys an interview of the ceo so with that being said before we get right into it if you're new around here feel free to join the investing family by hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on if you do find any value in this video at all feel free to give it an early thumbs up that helps out tremendously with the channel with that being said Let's dive in. So firstly, what is quantum computing in a really simple way? Well, quantum computers are able to achieve such vast computing power by replacing traditional bits, the ones and zeros used in digital communications with so-called quantum bits or qubits. So instead of the classical zero one bit, we have this qubit. Now this takes advantage of quantum mechanics, quantum physics, and the crazy stuff which goes on at the atomic level. Now qubits exist in a state of superposition, meaning they can be in two states at once rather than being restricted to a single binary state. This allows quantum computing systems to be exponentially more powerful than classic computers and could potentially solve computing challenges that are far beyond the reach of today's fastest supercomputers. So that's the potential we can see with quantum computing. So what are the potential applications? Well, some potential applications include chemistry, optimization, machine learning, material science, and solving unknown problems which we couldn't solve before with traditional computers. Now, some major companies have been working on quantum computers for a very long time now. Now, this is still an early stage technology, but has vast potential in the future. Just think of the early days of the internet, the early days of normal computers. Nobody would ever dream that we'd have the technology that we'd have today, but that all stemmed from our ability to create the microprocessor chip. So this really could be the next stage in the computer revolution. So IBM Quantum leads the world in quantum computing, which aims to solve complex problems the world's most powerful supercomputers cannot solve and never will. Then we've also got Google. So Google's quantum computing, Google AI quantum is advancing quantum computing by developing quantum processes and novel quantum algorithms to help researchers and developers solve near-term problems, both theoretical and practical. We think quantum computing will help us develop the innovations of tomorrow, including AI. So I'm personally already invested in Google, not really because of quantum computing, mainly due to their other incredible businesses. I've got a full video on Google Alphabet stock in the description below you guys can check out. But it's nice that they have that little cherry of quantum computing, which could be a real game changer in the future. Quantum computer, that it can perform a computation in seconds what would take the world's fastest supercomputer years, thousands of years to do that same calculation. But if you are interested in a pure play in quantum computing, a new company has just gone public, which has been backed by Bill Gates and Amazon and many other major investors. So let's dive into that. So Bill Gates and Michael Dell invest in Pipe in IonQ quantum computing. Now IonQ's 32 qubit quantum computer claims it has the world's most powerful quantum computer. So this is the real deal, the IonQ computer here. So the world's most powerful quantum computer featuring 32 qubits, minimal gate errors, and a world-leading expected quantum volume available on the cloud in 2021 to help solve humanity's hardest problems. So really, they are pushing forward. This company does seem like a real market leader. I believe the CEO and founder also used to work at Amazon, so he has a great relationship with Jeff Bezos. If you're on Azure or AWS, you already have access to our hardware. So basically, through Microsoft Azure and Amazon Web Services, you could be able to access quantum computing power. So let's dive into the SPAC company. So quantum computing startup IonQ has announced a $2 billion merger with special purpose acquisition company SPAC. The startup has entered into a merger agreement with DMY Technology Group Incorporated Free to become the first publicly traded quantum computing company. The combined company is expected to be valued at around $2 billion and IonQ shares will trade on the New York Stock Exchange 
under IONQ. So that's once the merger has complete. It's not complete yet. Um, with our key strategic partners such as Breakthrough Energy Ventures, Hyundai Motor Corp and Kia, we look forward to leveraging the power of quantum computing in the fight against climate change and to solve vexing problems from material design to logistics that impact the transport industry. So apart from solving humanity's greatest problems, they're also working with Amazon and Amazon Prime to optimize their deliveries. That's another potential application but as mentioned previous guys this is a really early stage technology so this video is definitely not financial advice as far as i'm concerned this is a 10-year technology before we start to see real major practical applications but still in the next three to five years the ceo says we could see applications in certain areas so it definitely could be an interesting space to potentially monitor or even open a speculative position but it's still speculative as it's an early stage startup company you're basically investing into a load of scientists in a room who are actually working Working on these quantum computers. Okay, so to explain more about this company, let's dive into the CEO interview. Uh, quantum computing is an entirely new paradigm for computing. And as with many technologies, it requires a significant investment to bring them to market. Um, and becoming a public company gives us access to capital and resources to make quantum a reality. Different technologies have different horizons. Some of them, um, you know, like ours, we also think is in the three to five years. But I think there's other technologies in quantum which are still 30 years away. Quantum computers will be able to solve many of mankind's kind of grand challenges. Everything from uh, direct carbon capture to new drug discovery, new batteries, um, solving strong AI, uh, improving machine learning. Is since we're talking about um, you know just a much bigger computer, it's kind of hard to say where it won't be used. Um, and I do think it's kind of an interesting question. If you were to go back to Intel and ask them in the 1970s, what did they think those little microprocessors were going to be used for? The answer back then was it was going to make a great calculator. And they couldn't really foresee the internet or or you know cell phones happening. I think we're in that same place today for quantum. Um, you know, where there's a bunch of things that we know about today that we use classical computers for. But I bet you 20 years from now, we'll look back at this and people will look at my answer and go out and go, wow, you couldn't have imagined X, Y, and Z. And so we're exactly the same place kind of for quantum as we were in the 1970s. So quantum computing is good at solving optimization problems with a cost function. Um, and so uh, it turns out many business problems can be converted into an optimization problem. So as an example, what is the optimal route to deliver a package to a consumer? Um, that's something that logistics companies are extremely interested in. Because if you can just shave off a mile or two off of a driver's daily delivery route, you can save a great deal of money. So for somebody like Amazon on the amazon.com side, not the AWS side, you know, they should have a lot of interest in the logistics applications for quantum. And then, of course, you mentioned Bill Gates. There, it's things like direct carbon capture and better batteries. Um, and even, you know, chemical applications. It turns out that uh, in the production of fertilizer is one of the most polluting industries on the planet. It accounts for about 1% of all the carbon emissions. But bacteria know how to do it in soils without any extra energy. So we just don't have a, a classical computer that can do that modeling, but with a quantum computer, you'll be able to do it. And we can unlock the secrets of how nature does it without polluting the environment. So I hope you guys found this video valuable. What do you guys think of quantum computing? Do you think this is the next generation of computing? Do you think this is a game changer? And when will we see quantum computing in practical applications in our lives? I'd love to hear your thoughts. So please do comment below. If you did find any value at all in this video, feel free to give it a big thumbs up that helps out tremendously with the channel. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an incredible day and I'll see you in my next video. Invest safe.